Hi there, this is Mo from Crochet Object Knitting and on today's video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the base part on the Nina Beck pattern. I will leave a link to this pattern down below in the description box for you and today I'm going to be showing you how to start from the first step of the base part up until the last round and until you are ready to work the body of the Nina Beck pattern. So I started with winding up my skeins. I have three skeins of the Tibetan cloud wool by Mayak fibers. Each skein is 100 grams and 300 meters which are 328 yards. I will use the wild daisy color as used in my original pattern. This project is made with three strands of yarn held together and I will crochet using a five millimeter crochet hook as used in my original pattern. We will also need a removable stitch marker. So we want to start with a chain 25. So I want to make a knot. And I want to make my chain stitches not too tight. I want to keep them a little loose because I will need to work through these stitches in my first round. I want to insert my hook into each and every stitch. So let's keep them not too tight. Okay, so I have 25 stitches and I want to start with a single crochet into the second chain from hook. I will make all my stitches using the upper loop of each stitch the upper loop only. So single crochet into the second chain from hook. I want to mark this stitch. And this is my beginning of round marker. This project worked spiral, so I want to mark the first stitch on each round, which will help me to know where each round begins and ends. And now I want to single crochet into the next 22 stitches using the upper loop only. And I want to make sure I go under three strands of yarn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now I reach the last stitch and I want to make three single crochet into the last stitch. And now the work turns and this is a corner made and now I want to make a single crochet into the next 22 stitches and this is actually the other side of my foundation chain and I want to make my stitches using the upper loop only of each stitch so I want to make sure I insert my hook under the upper loop only And I usually like to work over the short yarn end so I don't have to weave it in later. And now I reach the point where I started this round. This is my beginning of round marker. And I want to end up this round with 
two single crochet into the same place where I started this round. So one and two and this is my first round completed. I will continue working the second round spiral. So first I want to remove my beginning of round marker. I want to make three single crochet into the first stitch. So one, two, and three. And I want to mark the first stitch I made in this round. So I know this is the beginning of the round. And now I will make a single crochet in the next 22 stitches all the way to next corner and I will make my stitches inserting my hook under both loops of each stitch so just regularly this is not anymore a foundation chain stitches And now I'm at the corner stitches, so I will make three stitches, three single crochet stitches in the next stitch, one in the next, and three in the next. And now I made two corners out of the first corner I made. I have three stitches here and three stitches here. And now I'll make one single crochet stitch in each of the next 22 stitches. Now I want to make three single crochet in the next stitch. And one in the next. And this is the last stitch. So at the end of round two, you can start and see a very narrow and long triangle shape with four corners and with it in each corner we have three single crochet stitches and now we are ready to move on to the third round. So in the third round we want to start with a single crochet in the first stitch. So first I want to remove my beginning of round marker, make the first single crochet and mark it. Next, I want to make three single crochet in the next stitch, which will form the new corner. And next, I will make one single crochet in each of the next 24 stitches. And now I want to make three single crochet in the next stitch. And if you look closely, you will see that this stitch is right at the middle of my corner from the previous round. So the second of the three single crochet stitches I made in the corner of the previous round. So I'll go ahead and make three stitches three single crochet stitches in the next stitch single crochet in the next three stitches
and three stitches in the next which is again the second in the three of out of the three from the corner from the previous round now I'll go ahead and make a single crochet into the next 24 stitches till I meet the next corner And now I'm again at the corner stitch and I want to make three single crochet into this corner stitch. And I want to finish this round by making a single crochet into the next two stitches. And this is round three made and you can clearly see a triangle shape in the base of the Nina bag and we are ready to move to round four. Let's take this beginning of round marker out and I want to start by single crochet in the next two stitches and mark the first stitch and now I reach the first corner of the round and I want to make three single crochet for the new corner in the same stitch so next I want to make a single crochet in the next 26 stitches all the way up to the next corner stitch and now I'm at the next corner stitch and I want to make three single crochet into the corner stitch and it creates my new corner next I will single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four and five and next I will make three single crochet in the next stitch which is the corner stitch So as you can see, my triangle is getting bigger and wider. Next, I will make a single crochet in the next 26 stitches and I'll meet you back when I'm right at the next corner. And here I am at the next corner and I'll make three single crochet stitches into the next corner. and I want to finish this round by making a single crochet in the last three stitches and now I'm ready to start round five so actually we have two more rounds to go till we finish the base of the Nina bag. On round five and round six we will work just in the same principle as we worked by now. We will work all the way to the corner, to the first corner, making one single crochet in each stitch and then three single crochet in each corner stitch. Uh, same in round five and in round six. I will continue making round five and six now and we'll meet you back here when I'm ready to show you how to start working the body of your Nina bag. So now I have only five more stitches to go till I finish round six on my Nina bag base. Two, three, four, five and this is it. This is the base of the Nina bag made and this is how it looks like. The base that we just made in this video is actually this part of the bag and now we are ready to go ahead and crochet the body of the bag. So first thing I want to make sure I have 90 stitches 
around and I want to make sure I have the correct count of the stitches. And second, before I go ahead and continue working, I want to place a marker on one of the stitches, on the legs of one of the stitches around the last round I just made. And now I'm ready to go ahead and crochet the body. And actually in this part, all I want to do is just make one single crochet in each stitch around without any increases or decreases. I just want to keep 90 stitches around and I want to continue working spiral. I will still keep my beginning of round marker. I will place it on the first stitch of each round and I want to crochet 20 centimeters from this marker. So I will continue and make my single crochet stitches around in a spiral way till I have 20 centimeters up from the last round of the base and till I'm ready to make the handles. So I think this is it for today. This was the base of the Nina bag tutorial. I will leave a link to this pattern down below in the description box for you. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial till the end and I will see you on my next one. Bye!